Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. In this lab, we will configure RIP version 2 on a network to allow full connectivity. This is a similar network to the Static Routing Part 2 lab. In that lab, we had to configure full connectivity with static routes. This lab will demonstrate how much simpler it is to do so with the routing protocol. I have increased the font size of the CLI in the network diagram due to some comments. Let me know if the size is good or if it's still difficult to see in the video. So, currently the devices have all been pre-configured with IP addresses, but none of the PCs should be able to ping each other because no routing has been configured. Uh, let's configure RIP version 2 on each of these routers. On R1 first. Enable ConfT Router RIP. First, I'll enable version 2. Version 2. It's not necessary for this lab, but I'll also disable auto summary, which is a good habit. No auto. R1 is connected to three networks 10.0.0.0. 12.0.0.0 and 13.0.0.0. Let's enable RIP on each of those interfaces. Net 10.0.0.0, Net 12.0.0.0, Net 13.0.0.0. Now, we also have to disable routing updates on interfaces connected to switches, G02 in this case. We will still advertise the network on the G02 interface, 10.0.0.0, to other routers, but because there is no router in this direction, it's not necessary to send updates out of this interface. And for security purposes, it can be a good idea to stop these updates. We can do that with this command, passive interface G02. Okay, that's it. Let's go on to R2. Enable Conf T, router rip, version 2, no auto. R2 is connected to three networks, 20.0.0.0, 12.0.0.0, and 24.0.0.0. So let's configure rip on each of those interfaces. Net 20.0.0.0, net 12.0.0.0, net 24.0.0.0. Now let's disable routing updates on G02. Passive interface G02. That's all for R2. Now let's move on to R3. Enable conf t router rip version 2 no auto net 30.0.0.0 net 13.0.0.0, net 34.0.0.0. Passive interface, G02. Finally, once more on R4. Enable conf t router rip version 2, no auto, net 40.0.0.0, net 24.0.0.0, net 34.0.0.0. Passive interface, G02. Okay, now let's wait a bit for the routers to send all the routing updates to each other and learn the network. This process is called convergence. While we're waiting, let's check out some stuff on R4. End, show IP protocols. This is a very handy show command for checking information about whatever routing protocol you are using. Routing protocol is RIP, as we configured. Here you can see the default timers for RIP. Remember these, especially for the test. Update timer of 30 seconds, invalid and hold down timers of 180 seconds, and flush timer of 240 seconds. Consult your study materials for detailed explanations of each. You can also see information like which interfaces updates are being sent out on. Notice that the Gigabit Ethernet 02 interface is in here. 
although we can see it is advertising the network down here. Uh, this is because we made it a passive interface, which is indicated here. We can also see which neighboring routers we are getting updates from and when we got the last update. Anyway, let's go on PC1 now and see if we can ping each other PC. Ping 20.0.0.10. That's PC2. It works. Next, let's ping PC3. Ping 30.0.0.10. It works too. Finally, PC4. Ping 40.0.0.10. It works as well. We have successfully configured RIP to allow full connectivity throughout the network. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, please consider contributing to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeremy's IT Lab. I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.